topic is titled, How to Choose Better. When we are facing a hard truth, if someone did you wrong or if you were rejected, we have two choices. We can either allow that situation to make us bitter or better. To be bitter means that we're going to carry the burden that weighs us down. It's going to rob us of peace, joy, and the abundant life that Christ died for us to have. In John chapter 10, verse 10, it says, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. So how do we choose better? How do we choose to allow a bad situation to make us a better person instead of a bitter person? The first thing I believe is important is that we face the reality of the situation. It was wrong. I was hurt. I didn't deserve it. And I don't want to stay hurt, which means that I want to move on. After you face the reality, you accept God's promises for your life. I'm going to read uh, just a few of the promises, but I cannot stress enough how in my own life the importance it was for me to actually read the Bible, study the Bible, and learn what those promises were and actually accept them for my own life. In Psalm 27, verse 10, it says, Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. I use that scripture because parents, a parent's rejection is sometimes the hardest rejection for someone to actually face in their lives. Mothers and fathers are human. They don't always do or say what is right. Sometimes how they raise their kids is influenced by actually how they were raised. In Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, it says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. Mm. <laughs> I thought I did, though. <laughs> Uh, the encouraging scripture that I want to read is actually from Philippians chapter 3 verses 13 to 14. It says, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind me and straining toward what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. 